Hi there, I'm immigration attorney Heather Poole. Did an immigration judge deport you from the U.S. or did a CBP officer issue an expedited removal order against you at the border when you tried to enter the U.S.? Do you now have a loved one or employer willing to sponsor you for a green card? Let's help get you back. If you were deported from the United States by an immigration judge, it's most likely that you were given a 10-year removal order. If you were given an expedited removal order when you tried to come into the United States either illegally or with a visa, and CBP thought you had either committed fraud or no longer eligible to come in, you likely received a five-year removal order. First things first, make sure you know what kind of order you have and that you actually have a removal order. Sometimes, especially with CBP at the border, Clients who come to us assume that they have removal orders, and we find out they actually don't. You can get copies of your record from CBP and the U.S. government to track all of your entries and what happened at each entry. This is always the first step if you're unaware of exactly what happened. Don't assume the worst, but also don't file anything to you know exactly what happened. However, if you know for sure what kind of removal you have, know that the time on your removal order does not start to tick until the order has actually been effectuated, which means until you actually leave the United States. So if you were deported in 1999 by an immigration judge but never showed up for your appointment to leave the U.S. and have overstayed the removal order, the 10 years you must serve abroad on your removal order has not started yet. Only when you leave the United States does the 10 years start to add up. So why is this important? because you're stuck in limbo as long as you have that removal order and you can't do anything if you have an outstanding removal order on your record. It makes you ineligible for adjustment of status, the green card process in the United States, and a removal order can be effectuated forcibly by ICE and you can be removed from the United States at any point without a right to see an immigration judge again. But let's say that you actually did leave the United States, whether it was right after the removal order, when you were most supposed to, or most recently, and you still have years left on your 10 years that you have to serve abroad. It may still be possible for you to come back within that 10-year period. A competent immigration attorney will look at your complete immigration history to make sure that there are no other grounds of inadmissibility that would make it impossible for you to come back within that 10-year period beyond the removal order. For instance, if you also triggered the permanent bar due to trying to illegally re-enter the U.S. after your removal order, there's no way to come back early from that 10 years. If you trigger the permanent bar the other way, you were in the U.S. prior to your removal order and you left the U.S. and then illegally re-entered after having been here for more than a year uh, illegally with unlawful presence, even before you even got a removal order, you would still be stuck without having be able to serve that 10 years outside the U.S. There's no waiver for that either. You could also not have the opportunity to come back within the first five years or a 10-year removal order if you never showed to your removal hearing and your removal order was issued in your absence, which is called an in absentia order. The law states that you are barred from any immigration relief until you have been outside of the U.S. for five years following the issuance of that in absentia order. And again, it doesn't become effectuated until you leave the United States. That's when the five years starts ticking. That runs concurrently at the same time that you're serving that 10 years abroad for the removal order itself. So what I'm talking about today is the scenario of someone who has not triggered the permanent bar, but may have triggered the regular 10-year bar for being in the U.S. for a year or more, and then with the removal order, depart of the United States, so that person now has the 10-year bar for unlawful presence that needs to be waived, and has a 10-year removal order that needs to be waived so the person can come back prior to 10 years. Someone in that condition may be able to come back prior to the 10 years. The application we're talking about to do that, to basically come back prior to the 10 years being served, is called an I-212 application. Now, don't get this form number confused with Section 212 of the Immigration and Nationality Act. Just don't try to legally re-enter after a removal order to wait out the time your case is pending. This will stop your chances dead in their tracks. You won't be able to come back. Don't try to re-enter, period, without an approved I-212 if you have a removal order and after issued your immigrant visa by the consulate. You've waited this long already. Don't screw it up in the final mile. This is obviously some complicated stuff. 
If you need to talk, visit our website, humanrightsattorney.com, to book your appointment to discuss your case with me or give us a call today. If you would like to hear more about this subject, please comment below and give us a like. Thanks, and good luck out there.